Hey everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is Wednesday, March 11th and this is vlog number 6. In today's vlog I will be price tagging the peekaboo beauty bags that I finished up in the last vlog and I will also be cutting out some fabric for the sunshine crossbody bags and then I will be sewing up some wristlet clutches. I will put a link in the description box below where you can find all of these sewing patterns. Right here I'm using my new stamp that I got in the mail the other day and I love how these look. I'm just using some glitter ribbon that I got at Walmart to attach the tags to the bags. Now that I've gotten all of those tagged, I am starting to cut out the fabric for the sunshine crossbody bags. And right here, I'm just cutting out the crossbody strap. And now I'm just cutting out the main center panel pieces. I just repeated the cutting process with all of the fabrics that I brought to work with me today. I was planning on bringing the vinyl for the sides as well, but of course I forgot them at home this morning. Once I got finished cutting out all the fabric that I brought with me, I ended up with a total of six bags. And then it was time to cut out the Decoville light.
On the bigger pieces, I ended up just putting them down and then cutting a, like a larger rectangle out and I'm going to fuse it that way and then cut around the pattern pieces. I've gotten all of my Decoville light cut out now and I'm going to fuse that when I get home. So I'm back home now and it's about 11 o'clock at night and I'm just now getting around to fusing these and I'm using my Singer heat press and then I also got some new Teflon sheets the other day and I have to use those because I accidentally fused some Decoville light to the top of my heat press. I have tried everything that I know to clean the top of this heat press off so if you have any tips or tricks I would greatly appreciate hearing them from you. I'm using my favorite starch on these and it is the best press brand. I'm fusing these with a little bit of overhang on the Decoville light and I'm just going to cut those out at work tomorrow. I finished fusing the rest of the pattern pieces the same way and right here I'm just fusing some SF-101 to the backs of the strap connectors. So now I can finally start sewing and right here I am cutting my zipper by the yard for the wristlet clutches and that pattern is by Sonar. I can't recommend this pattern enough. It is one of my favorites because it's minimal hardware and you don't have to interface. I am just using vinyl on the outer pieces and then waterproof canvas on the lining. I'm using double sided leather tape to tape down my accent pieces. I'm using cork to make this one. I don't usually use cork, but I got this off of a D-stash and I love it.
I picked out the ones that I wanted to sew with black thread and I'm just sewing those first and then I'll change my thread out to white and sew the rest. So when making these straps I started out on the first one with just using tape on one side and it did not work so well. So on all the rest of them I used tape on both sides and that worked so much better.
So I went ahead and turned these out the right way, but I'm waiting until I switch out my machine with the white thread to sew up the gap. I switched to the white thread in my machine now, so I'm just sewing up the gaps.
All that's left now is to rivet the lobster clasp on the end of the wristlet strap. I love how these turned out so much. These are some of my favorite bags. And here they all are completed plus five more that I'd already made. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to subscribe.